How much does it cost to run a yacht? How much does it cost to run a yacht? Probably the most asked question that I get on my whole YouTube channel and one of the most difficult questions to answer. It's so full of variables and there are so many caveats attached. Many people say that 10% of the value of the yacht is a good rule of thumb for the running costs. And to be honest, they're not far off. But in this video, we'll take a look at the big ticket items of running a yacht. We'll say 100 to 120 foot in length kept in the Western Med and used in the way that most yacht owners do use their yacht in this area. The biggest single expense on a yacht of this size is without a doubt the crew. And if you really want to enjoy your yacht to the full, you'll make sure you get the best crew members that you possibly can. A typical 100 foot yacht, such as the one shown in this image, will probably run with a crew of five. So I contacted the charming and talented Marcy Williams, the Northrop & Johnson Crew Services Manager, to get a feel for how much crew members are paid these days. The average wage for a good qualified captain of a yacht this size is $9,804 per month. Although you may pay considerably more for a captain that you feel will add value to your time on board, or somewhat less for a captain who has less experience and wants to move up in his career. Another essential crew member for a yacht of this size is a first mate, preferably one with engineering qualifications if the captain does not have them. He will make sure that the yacht is well maintained, take a particular interest in the machinery on board, and will probably also take a big role in keeping the exterior of the yacht clean, especially when the deckhand is otherwise occupied. The average wage for a first mate with engineering experience is $5,200 per month. The interiors of these luxury yachts are expected to be kept in immaculate condition. And when the owner and his guests are on board, the level of hospitality has to be higher than seven star standard. This is the considerable responsibility that falls on the shoulders of the chief stew of a yacht of this size. If she also has some ability as a chef, it's a huge advantage and should be well recompensed since she may be cooking for the crew as well as the guests. Although I should add that it's not unusual for an owner to employ a separate chef for the months that he's on board. For this sizable and responsible position, the average pay is $4,355 per month. These three crew members will most likely be on a year long contract, working incredibly hard when the yacht is in use, but with the possibility of extended vacations when the yacht's not being used. During the cruising season, let's say middle of May to the middle of September more or less, it's quite likely that the owner will take on another two crew members. Usually a younger lad, but increasingly often girls too, this role is one of keeping the exterior of the yacht clean. Running guests to and from the yacht in a tender, fetching and carrying, helping with mooring, really anything the captain asks them to do that helps with the smooth running of the yacht. An entry-level position for many yearning to get into the yachting industry, the average wage for a deckhand of a 100 to 120 foot yacht is $2,957 per month. Again, I should add that this varies tremendously according to experience and other factors. Once again, usually but not always a position for a younger lady, this job entails keeping the interior of the yacht immaculately clean serving drinks and food to guests, assisting with shopping, putting fenders in and out and helping with mooring lines. It's hard work and another entry level position for which the average wage is $3,671. So if you consider the captain's wage, the first mate and the chief stew's wage and you multiply them by 12, you arrive at $232,308 per year in crew salaries. A deckhand and a stewardess combined would cost you $6,628 per month and you employ them for four months. So the total yearly wage bill for your 100 to 120 foot yacht would be $258,820.
Now these figures vary enormously according to so many different factors. I'm really not trying to give some sort of a standardized wage structure to the industry here, but rather pass on to you the results of an extensive poll that was made within the yachting industry to show you what the average wages are, and they are a substantial part of the overall running costs of the vessel. Another substantial cost during the year of a yacht is the berth. I spoke to my dear friend Ricardo Charney of Medyot Services, who's my go-to guy to find berths for clients so that I could get an idea of berth costs for a 100-foot yacht. Porto Maurizio in Imperia is a popular location since it's so close to Monaco, Sardinia, Portofino and all those great places. I recently got a quote for a 103-foot azimuth and the monthly berth costs from the 1st of May to the 1st of October are 3,690 euro per month, including VAT, but excluding electricity and water. This is a total of 18,450 euro. From the 1st of October to the 1st of May, the cost is 2,125 euro per month. So the yearly birth costs may be around 33,325 euro. It's fair to say that you'll be cruising for quite a few weeks in the year though, so sometimes you'll be at anchor, which is for free. And other times, you can expect to save the same amount for one night in Ibiza in August that you would pay for the entire month in Imperia, if you can get in. A fair estimate for birth costs though would be about $35,000 per year. For the insurance of the yacht, I spoke to Julien Hubert at Only Yacht, a leading yacht insurance company that I've used in the past. I should add that none of these contacts have paid me for this video, they're just people who I respect and I enjoy working with. Now, insurance is a very exact science, so it was very good of him to give me a rough idea of a price for a fictitious yacht. He said that a privately used yacht, with a value of about $10 million, built in 2016, would cost about 42,500 euro per year to insure. This would cover hull, machinery, P&I, crew medical. It's a pretty comprehensive policy. As a rule of thumb, insurance can be between 0.5% and 0.7% of the value of the yacht. So to keep this all in dollar figures, let's say $50,000. You may think that servicing the engines and the generators of a 100-foot yacht are big-ticket items too. I spoke to two captain friends of yachts of this size, and actually the expense is not so bad at all. They both service their engines once a year, with prices varying from 5 to 7,000 euros. And the generators are serviced every 100 hours, also 5,000 euros. In their cases, they do both of these services once a year. I should also add that one of those two captains chastised me because he said to me, look, David, if you're doing a video about the running costs of a yacht, actually the engines and the generator service costs are not so great at all. There are far bigger ticket items than that. And of course he's right. There are many, many other items to consider. Um, crew uniforms, cleaning supplies and equipment, but also pumps, water maker, filters, all need to be replaced, repaired, or serviced from time to time. And that can be really quite expensive. The yacht has to be lifted once a year and have the bottom of it painted. That's a really expensive winter work period too. Replacing the zincs, periodic big services, such as when you have to take the propeller shafts out, line them up, put them back in again, it all adds to the expense of the yacht. So really, if you're looking at buying a yacht, the question is not so much whether you can afford maybe the $10 million purchase price, but more whether you can afford the yearly running costs. As a friend of mine once said, it's not the price of the elephant, it's the cost of the hay. If you add together crew wages, fuel costs, berth costs, insurance, and service costs, it's fair to say that you should budget around $500,000 a year running costs of a 100-foot yacht. Now, it's true that's not 10% of the value of a $10 million yacht, but on the other hand, you can also buy a very nice 100-foot yacht for $5 million. Now, you may wonder why it is that I, as a yacht broker, am so fearlessly transparent about how expensive it is to run a yacht. 
The truth is that successful yacht owners, the guys that buy yacht after yacht after yacht and enjoy the experience, have a mindset that I really admire deeply. Now, these are people who've spent their entire lives being very cautious, very prudent, very intelligent with every bit of money that they've ever earned, usually reinvesting it to create more wealth. Then they buy a yacht and their whole mindset has to change. Don't get me wrong, these are still very cautious people and they're very wise in the way they spend money on their yacht, but they realize that they've worked very hard all of their lives. They've usually made great sacrifices and the time has come to take a portion of that wealth that they've created and put it to use, investing it in a way that won't give them a financial reward, but that will give them a quality of life to them and to their families that nothing else can compare with. And at the end of the day, why is it that you work hard, if not to give yourself a better quality of life and more happiness? Spending time on a yacht is an experience that nothing else can compare with. No hotel, no villa, no castle in Scotland. I know of yacht owners who are billionaires and speaking to their families, they say that the only time that that person can fully relax is when he's on his yacht. So is it really expensive to run a yacht? Personally, I think you'd be crazy not to if you can afford it and if you believe that your wealth is there to improve the quality of your life and the quality of the lives of your family. I actually wrote a blog about this very subject a few years ago and at the time it was very, very popular. So I've copied it and I've transferred it to the Yachts For Sale channel website with a link to it in the description below. I think you'll enjoy reading it. Next week's video will be a mid-year review of the yachts that I personally have for sale. It's been a productive year so far with some yachts sold and others joining the fleet. So make sure that you don't miss out on that and other great material that's coming up by subscribing to my channel.